Hey folks, 23rd of June, 2018, am I right on that case? Because I've been traveling different time zones, different days, taped two a couple of days ago, Brando's illness, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. So am I right? I think so. Yeah, yeah and you're, uh... so um, Casey was not supposed to be doing, uh, shooting the uh, Lands blog. We were making alternative arrangements. Uh, she was supposed to be on this amazing trip to Thailand and, uh, and other places. Well, actually, it was just Thailand, but unfortunately, Brando got sick, and she didn't get to go, and she's here with me. So, Case, I wish you weren't here, okay? I wish you were there and having a great time. Sorry. It's okay. Just want to be with my buddy. Um, so, one of the things that I, I experienced was, uh, you know the word rumination? You know how you, you get something in your head and, um, I mean, I think everyone becomes obsessed with serious things in their life, but then there's, God, I just, it gets stuck in my head, you know, when I worry about something. And I was up in Regina giving a speech and all I could think about was, was sort of what we'd been through over the last couple of days with Brando. And it was, was bizarre because I, I kept, I kept pausing for the, this microsecond and I would think to myself, did I actually say that out loud? So I'm thinking of one thing and doing another. Thing and I, I, I think that just kind of goes with the illness, and that is the inability to focus on something other than the thing you don't want to focus on. It's bizarre. It's like, don't think about it, don't think about it. I'm thinking about it more, I'm thinking about it more. You can think about anything else, but I can't think about anything else. But, um, it's still, again, for me, a great experience going to a uh, to a different city, to a different group of people, to um, to try to share this experience called mental illness. And I had this, this uh, well, I mean, every time I travel, you bump into people. And I had another really sort of cool moment. I told you last week about this really cool moment at dinner when there was this family and they're eating and they shared. So I'm driving in. Um, I was being driven. Someone picked me up at the hotel and we're driving into the Farm Progress event. This massive event with tractors all over the place. Oh man, I felt so at home there. I, I, love, uh, I love the freedom of farming. Uh, and we're going in and, and there's a security guy there, um, you know, with the fluorescent vest. And he says to the driver, oh, uh, you know, like there we're filled. And she says, oh, I was here before. I just came to pick up, um, pick this guy up. And he looks in and he goes, Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? How are you? So I go, hey, good. How about you? He goes, uh, what are you doing here? Like, logically say, what the hell would I be doing in a farming thing? And I said, well, I'm here to speak. Do you know what I might be speaking about? He goes, but you're talking about mental illness. And I said, uh, yeah, I am. He, I said, how did you know that? And he said, and it got really quiet. Me too. I suffered too. It means a lot to hear somebody else sharing. So this is just like this bizarre sort of, you know, he's waving the car car in guy and I'm in a car and all of a sudden we have, quote unquote, a moment. Me and Nick, the guy at the gate, had a moment together. And I've had many of those moments in my life and uh, I cherish them. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day. Case was giving me the wrap-up sign. Yeah, I was. Yeah, you were. I, I was could a see. Ago, yeah. So uh, Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year, unless somebody in the family gets sick and then maybe it's a little bit less. We're here because guys like Nick need us.